All right, I'm back. We're gonna talk a little bit about point evolution and how one type changed into others. Um, th these are all from one site that I looked for about 30 years. Um, this is Crooksville Chert. This is a river pebble. This is Crooksville. This is a river pebble. This is Crooksville. Um, this is probably a river pebble too. But these would be like a big sandy type. Um, really heavily ground based. They're like an early archaic side notch. Well, you can see here, they started notching them on the site and they got progressively smaller. And this would be a latent point, but you can see the overall form of the point is the same. It's just got the notches. Well, the latent points went from this with the zero serrations that kind of look like this point into where they started getting the needle tips. They still were double notched on the base, but you can see here, here's one that's got a triple notch that's gone more into the Amos type you can, with the needle tips too, that's the key. And then you can see they eventually got to these. And this is my theory anyway, from what I look on the site, and these would be in chronological age. Um, I see these points being the earliest, and then I'm coming up and ending with this. And that's the last type of point I find on the site, but this is just classic Crooksville Church. This is a beautiful point here. Found this one in my sifter in the 1990s. Um, you can look back and see the frame all of these are in on my video, 9,900 year old um, Arrowhead and Toolkit collection. But this is how I believe the site was from beginning to end where I'm finding these. The early archaic side notches, I think these are like 10,000 before present. Coming in to these latent types and then you're just ending with the Amos points which there's radiocarbon dates of 9,900 on these. So I'd say over a couple hundred year period and you know there can be some discrepancy with those dates of course it depends on what state you're in some people made these points in some places hundreds of years longer than they did in other places i guess it just depends on where you're at but where i'm at on the river this is what we're looking at and this is what i think personally and these are still what these points evolved in here, these points are still almost 10,000 years old. So, you know, 9,900 before present. And these would be the oldest. I'd say these are over 10,000 years old. That's not taken into account the BC AD discrepancy. It's just before present. It's not BC, so I'm using the dates that way. So 10,000 up to about 9,900. And, you know, that could be off a little bit, but that's what I truly believe from looking this site. Well, I hope you enjoy. The river was down. Now it's way back up again. We're getting all kinds of weird weather here in Ohio. It's, we're getting 50 mile per hour wind gusts today, but it's like 55 degrees. And then this weekend, it's gonna get down below freezing and be in the teens at night. So it's pretty odd weather. If anybody else is also finding points like this, I'd love to hear from you. Um, in Ohio, these latent types are rare for me. I probably have eight or nine of them off this site. I know there's hundreds more there. It's just finding them. These are small points and it's hard to find them sometimes. But I found a good many of these types this summer, especially the Amos's. And I found some uh, archaic side notches, but no latents this year. Hopefully this upcoming year I can find some more of these and show a little bit more detailed uh, display. But I hope you enjoy. And here they are. Thanks for watching.